In this video, we're going to take a look at setting content to be members only content. Right now, I'm logged in as the administrator of the Demo Local League. That's the one that we're on right now. This means that I have administrative privileges. I have a menu down here. I have access to my account up here, and I have these tabs to be able to edit the content. When I'm authenticated as a member, whether I'm the administrator or not, then I have access to any content that's marked members only. By default, when your site is created, you have a members only link in your menu, which you are able to remove or disable if you'd like. But if you don't remove or disable it, then anyone who's authenticated to the site will be able to click on it and see an aggregated list of all of the content that is members only content. So right now this particular site doesn't have any members only content. But if I click on this link members only I do get to see a page that says that. Now I'm going to go to a different web browser where I'm not authenticated. I know that I'm authenticated here because I have the my account and log out up here at the top. But if I go over to Firefox and let's go to that demo local league, what I want to show you is that that members only link is not here in the menu on the sidebar because that content is only available to me if I'm authenticated in the site as a member. Also up here at the top, it's asking for a username and password. If I log in and I'm a member of this particular local league, then that link would appear on the side again. So how do I get content into this aggregated members only space? Well, the way that I do that is I create a piece of content or I edit a piece of content and I tell it to be members only content. So what I'm going to go ahead and do as the administrator of this league is I'm going to go ahead and create an action alert that's meant to be a members only action alert. So I'm giving it a title. Let's give it a date range that includes right now, just for the sake of actually showing how this works. And then I'll leave the rest of this blank. I'll just put some content in here to make it easy to see what's going on. So now we have some content. And then the rest of this I'm going to leave alone. Now I'm going to start out with what's set by default here, which is public. As in this particular piece of content is going to be visible to anyone. And then this is happening in this section right here, public or members only, which you'll find at the bottom of any of your content because any of your content, whether it's an action alert or an event or a page, it doesn't matter. Any content that you create can be either public or members only. So every piece of content, every form has this at the bottom of it. So right now I'm leaving this as public and we're going to see what that means. I'm going to go ahead and publish this for the sake of demonstration. Now this is an action alert. Here we have the action alert here. If I go directly to this page in the browser where I am not authenticated, so I'm not logged in as a member, I will get to be able to see this piece of content, which is exactly what I want because I marked it as public. But really we want it to be members only. So what one, one more thing that I'm going to show you here is if I click on the action alerts link right here, opening that in a new tab, then this particular members only action alert displays. But if I go to the action alerts page in the browser where I'm not authenticated, let's see what happens here. Oh, and it still shows up because again, it's a public action alert. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to this piece of content and we're going to edit it. We're going to turn it into members only content. So I'm clicking on this and I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom where we have this public or members only set of radio buttons and then I'm going to choose private. We'll go ahead and take this change directly to published and save it.
Okay, so now a few things are going to change. Right now, I'm looking at the site as an authenticated user who is a member, so I can see this piece of content. But if I go over to, sorry, not there, if I go over to the browser where I am not authenticated, I am not a member at the moment, and reload, I get an access denied message. If I log in from here, then it will take me to that piece of content. I can even go all the way through creating an account and I won't actually, at the end of creating that account, I won't be a member of this particular league, but I can go ahead and do that here, but I'm not a member of this league, so I cannot see this content until I'm a member of the league. If we go over to the action alerts view here, this page, and reload, then this action alert no longer displays. Now what I want to show you here is the same thing when I'm authenticated. Notice I have the my account and log out here. If I reload the action alerts view, that action alert does not display because that action alert is members only content. So now if I click on this members only tab here, in the aggregated content of members only content, this action alert shows up right here in this list. Okay, so by default, the only real way that everything that's members only is aggregated is in this view that comes out of the box. You may or may not want to actually set up your own kind of pages or menu system for members only content. And here's the thing, the menu is really smart and it'll only show users content that they have access to. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a members only page right now So this page is going to be the start of a members only section. Maybe I'll have a bunch of links and content on here. I can put whatever I want. You know, I could start listing things. Whatever it is that I want to put on here, including, you know, links to other pages. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to say this is private content. I'm going to take it to published and now what I'm going to do is add this piece of content to the menu. So I'm going to say new draft. This is the easiest way to do it. I could also go to the menu itself, but I'm just going to say provide a menu link and we'll call it members only section. And then I'm gonna save this. So now I have this members only section right here. I can manage the menu however I want. I could put this members only aggregated item underneath the members only section. Let's go ahead and do that. So if I wanna take this and put it under the members only section, I'll save that. And then let me actually go in and rename that link just for the sake of making this easier. So I'm going to edit this and I'm going to rename it members only aggregated so that we know what it is. Save. Okay, so now here's my menu. I have this members only section which I can go to which starts with this page that I created. And then I still have access to that members only aggregated content list. From here, what I want to show you is that if I go to this page or any, well, actually I won't be able to go to this particular page as an unauthenticated user, but if I go back to my home page here, I still have that members only section link right here. But if I go to this page from the unauthenticated browser, and scroll down, I don't have that link. It doesn't show up because I'm not authenticated as a member right now, as we can see because there's this up here at the top. So I cannot access content that I don't have permission to see. 
So just a quick recap of how you set a piece of content to be members only or public. You can switch content back and forth at any time. It's very easy to do. All you need to do is go to that particular piece of content. Here I'm going to go to sample page using embed code tool. I'll click on new draft. Scroll down to the bottom here just before the tabs and where it says public or members only I choose private and then when I save this as private now this is members only content and it will only be available to members who are authenticated in the system.